is hard to believe it's been 10 years since one of Tuscaloosa's most well-known staples officially opened for business. WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt joins us live to tell us how this facility came about and the success it has brought to the city. Jabari. Well, Tamika, Mayor Walt Maddox says he couldn't be more pleased with the amphitheater and all it has brought to the city of Tuscaloosa. The Tuscaloosa Amphitheater sits on 15 acres on the banks of the Black Warrior River. In 2011, the 7,470-seat outdoor amphitheater held its first act. But plans for the facility came years earlier in 2003. Well, we developed a riverfront master plan, and that master plan it had included an amphitheater right here at this site. Ten years later, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says he couldn't be more pleased with the success of the amphitheater. So to take a landfill that could produce nothing and today have it produce economic viability, improve our quality of life, um, I'm certainly proud to have been part of that journey. But Maddox said the planning of this now community staple wasn't always positive. A decade later, it's proven to be quite the opposite. This amphitheater is a signature um, a venue for the city of Tuscaloosa and certainly um, myself and others who have been part of this journey, I'm really proud of what we've all been able to accomplish. Since the pandemic, there have been no activities at the amphitheater, but in June, the amphitheater will be back open. Right now, we've only announced one show and um, that's already on sale. It's John Party with Larry Fleet coming on June 17th. That will be a socially distant show, so you're going to see pods created in the in the stands so that we can keep people apart from each other. Now, Stacey Vaughn, director of public services, says in the next several weeks you will see more shows announced and then you will see a lot more activities rolling in after that. Live tonight from Studio A, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.